and welcome to this week's episode of Happily Ever Caffeinated, your weekly wedding video series where we get stupid high on coffee and talk about weddings. I am your host, Jesse Stellick, co-founder of Photo Bohemia, and I'm here today with Hope from the Rialto Theater. It's a historic theater, which is a mixed-use arts and, and, and events space in the heart of Tampa. And in this week's episode, we are going to be discussing the difference between a wedding coordinator and a venue coordinator. Let's do this. <laughs> So, wedding coordinator versus venue coordinator talk. Well, we're actually going to distinguish the two right okay. from the start. Excellent. Let's call it a wedding planner okay. and then a venue manager. Good. That will help us clarify. Yes. I love it. Okay. So, what do you have in mind for telling us the difference? Well, I want to play a game. Okay. I love games. Okay. So, you're going to ask me a question about some of the different elements of a wedding. Okay. What goes into either the planning, the day of, any little elements about the wedding. Excellent. And I'm going to show you if it is a wedding planner. Wedding planner. Or a venue manager. Venue manager. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. So, are these our questions? Sure. You can't see them. Okay. I'm not. Okay. Here we go. Not. Jeez. And game. Mm -hmm. Who does what? Here we go. First question. Who opens doors, gates, and loading docks for the vendors? Venue manager. The venue manager. Okay. So the person who knows the building the best. Right. Going to tell you where the power outlets are and which ones have different amperage and right. can handle lights versus general warmers. I see. Okay, so do you open it at the same time for every wedding, like the same number of hours before the wedding, or does it depend on how elaborate it's going to be? We have a set standard, but then that can always be adjusted if it's something special, an early ceremony needs to start at two, right. so we get in the doors earlier, or they have a really elaborate setup. Sometimes they will um, get some extra time in the morning or the day before. So they're flexible. <laughs> Excellent. Question number two. Okay. Lightning round. Who coordinates vendor arrival times? Oh, the, the wedding, wedding planner. planner. So the wedding planner is the one who's going to talk to the florist and the lighting guys and the table and chair rentals and make sure they don't all show up at the very same time and right. try to crowd in the same doors right. <laughs> and yeah. set up on top of each other. Yeah. So they'll stagger their arrival times okay. and then the day just goes nice and smooth. So they'll then tell you when people are arriving so you can be prepared to have yes. everything open. I see. Okay. Number three. Who tells you how many tables you need for your head count? Wedding planner. planner. Okay. So the wedding planner is going to really have the conversations with you because your guest count is a moving target. Yes. You know how many times it changes? Uh, I'm sure It's like, often. oh, we're just going to have 150. And then everybody from Wisconsin decides that they're going to come vacation in Florida Those and you Wisconsin then have 180 people at your wedding. Right. So they're going to make sure that every person has a seat. I see. <laughs> okay, perfect. So then, who sets the light levels for your ceremony and adjusts them for the reception? Venue manager. That's you. They okay. know the building inside and out. Right. Um, I know at the Rialto, it's a 90 some odd year old building, and there's some light switches. They look like light switches, but they are two outlets. Could you imagine like just flipping it in the middle and then all of your strung lighting goes out? Oh, that would be bad. Right? That would be bad. So the venue manager is going to adjust the levels and get it just right and then check back in with the wedding planner. Right. And say, okay, did we want to dim this down for the party? This is getting a little lively. Let's go ahead and dim the lights. Right. And that's going to be up to the venue manager. I just imagine when the thing flicks off, I imagine the dance floor and the DJ. Wah, 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 wah. Exactly. Yes. Everybody, yes. It's that like would the be mannequin scary. challenge, but not planned. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. Next one. Ready. Who lines up your bridal party for intros and locates a missing groomsmen? That happens every time. Every <laughs> wedding. <laughs> wedding planner. Yes. So they you're not know running around. the names. They have the list. They know who that one person is who needs a buddy <laughs> to keep them in line and in the right place, yes. and they don't sneak next door to the brewery. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's it's like a it's like a job. There has to be one professional groomsman that always the wrangler. Yeah. You have a wrangler for all of the people. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Last one. Are you ready? Okay. Ready. Okay. Who is your biggest cheerleader, reassuring team captain who knows your vision and plan inside and out? 
Still the wedding planner. Still the wedding planner. Yeah, they have the most conversations with you leading up to your wedding day. Yeah. As a venue manager, I see a couple when they're looking at potential venues, when they sign a contract, and then probably once more before the day of wedding. Right. That's it. Right. I don't get to go to cake tastings and bridal fittings and all of that fun stuff. Right. And the wedding planner really has all those, you know, detailed conversations. They get to know your personality a little yeah. better. They can just learn what you really want to happen for your day and what's really important to you to right. make it the best day possible. Okay, so this question was not on the list, uh -oh. but I know we've had this conversation be <laughs> before. What is your reaction when you find out that the wedding does not have a wedding planner? Do you go and cry? Do you scream? <laughs> It's hard. I don't know how you can execute a wedding day without stress and not have somebody who is in charge of setup, execution of the day, and then cleanup. Yes. So I have a very honest conversation with the couple while staying positive. We want to make sure that their day goes as best as possible. And also with the other vendors and say, okay, team, we've got a rally. Let's make sure. And then it's typically the end of the night that's the roughest because there's nobody there to wrap up, to yes. take care. Where did the gifts go? Which car did they go into? Yeah. Did you get the bridesmaids' shoes and purses that they all left off the dance floor? It just, it, there's things go missing yeah. when, or left out when you don't have that planner on your side. I always get a little twitchy when they say that the mom or a friend or something is going to be, because if it's your mom, she's going to want to see her relatives that she hasn't seen. I banned so them. I banned them. You banned them? From the them. day of. I said, I'm not allowed to see you until photos or the ceremony. Really? I don't want to see any family member until then. <laughs> Excellent. Because then they can actually enjoy the right. day. It's their day, too. They're having working. you know, yeah. big celebration, big and, deal. And if it's a friend, they're going to want to party with you. Let's be honest. They're not going to want to not drink and then have to clean up for you at the end of the day and everything. Get a wedding coordinator. They work really well with venue, coordinate, venue managers. <laughs> Just get one. And then you've got this beautiful person that can help you with all of the other structural elements and things. Yes. And we can all enjoy the day and it goes swimmingly and you just, yes. you can tell the difference in the stress level of the couple and the parents. Yes, for the, sure. the parents who have had a stress-less day yes. are just the biggest smiles <laughs> and the happiest day of all of them. That's awesome. Well, cool. Well, thank you for all that you do as a venue manager. And we love your venue. It's very happy. We love so, you guys too. Cheers. Cheers. Always question with the Q. Questions help us learn things new. Question marks are very cool, especially when you're in school. Always question when you try. You'll find Hello and welcome to this episode of the <laughs> More Coffee. Yes. I am your host, Jesse Stella, co-founder. <laughs>